jump into League Go Live. Right, um, well, let me put the song back at the beginning, I guess. All right, um, hopefully we are live and everything should be behaving perfectly fine. Okay, so because uh, for some reason I had some issues at the moment. It wasn't properly displaying my thing at the moment when I started. Right, let me, oh, I forgot to pop up the chat, silly me. Okay. Right, so, good evening! Well, yep, okay, so, good evening, everybody, and, um, welcome to today's, uh, Nimby Rail stream, the fourth edition of where we're going to be doing work on the Birmingham, um, S-Bahn network. Um, so, our goal for today, hopefully, um, well, what I want to do is build towards Walsall and probably Brown Hills, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna make it go to Brown Hills, and then, um, Hopefully, once we've done that, we'll be able to probably... I might need to add some de sidings at Bromsgrove, but then we'll be ready to add our first service. Or first services, plural, because we'll have at least... We'll be able to add three routes, I think, because we got... My plan is uh, S1 will be Wolverhampton to uh, Brown Hills. S2 will be Bromsgrove to Burton-on-Drent. S3... S3 will be Redditch to uh, Litchfield City. To, yeah, Litchfield City. And then, yeah, that's our goal. We're going to hopefully have some trains running properly this time. So, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Right, so, um, whilst, uh, whilst you know, behind the scenes, I've been just doing some housekeeping, really. So, this junction has been overhauled a little bit. So, now it can be accessed from the fast lines. And uh, I've also added stations at Handsworth and Winston Green, but they're not going to be served at the moment. Ugh. Limited S3A from Redditch to New Street. Uh, I'm, I, at the moment, I'm not too sure about the peak hour service. I really need to think about what I'm going to do with those. I just want to do the main services first. Uh, I'm not fully up to date as I wasn't here last stream. Uh, well, basically, we're trying to basically give... <laughs> um, What's it called? Birmingham and Espard, and I've been just trying to build as much as possible. So last main area we were doing Lord everything. Uh, last time was Bur Wolverhampton, I should say, which has this sick eleven platform layout. And as you can see by the speed limits, they act trains can actually move through Wolverhampton because the current you know Wolverhampton is a bit bottlenecky, but here it's nowhere near as bad as a bottleneck. There are oh and oh I gotta I gotta show you the northern. I, I'm really proud of the junction I've given for North, uh, North of Wolverhampton. So the original one sucks ass, but this one is less ass sucking, <laughs> as you can see here. So it's a bit hard to um, explain it, first of all. So I'll do it by line. So on the S-Bahn, as you can see by the tracks here, they can easily go either towards the north or the west. Same for the fast lines. Um, if I click here... There you go. Fast lines can go north or west, and the northern, well, the, the that S bahn that goes via Walsall or to or from Walsall, same thing. It can go. They can basically go on all of their routes without any conflicting movements, and I'm really proud of that. I already have a rough idea of what I'm going to do later, heading towards Stafford, but we'll save that for later. And obviously, we've given Wolverhampton a depot. Where most of our trains will turn will use. Well, I guess I might add one at So. Well, where's Soho? I might add one at Soho, but I make no promises. But regardless, uh, we're gonna actually go to Walsall. And I saw Blue Jays at Redditch. Redditch not Redditch isn't that bad compared to Walsall. What Walsall's much worse. I don't like Walsall. <laughs> I don't like Walsall. I can tolerate Redditch a little bit. Maybe not the station. Well, well, yeah, but that's just me at least. So let's add the um. Excuse me, let's add Beskitt Stadium Station now. Bromsgrove View. You know, okay, I, I'm, I'm sensing a pattern that this area of, this area of the Midlands seems to have not a lot of fans. <laughs> 
I'm starting to sense a pattern. Whereas for me, my my sort of go-to of ugh, areas are like Walsall, West Bromwich, Dudley. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, Beskitt Stadium, that's the station we're going to do. <laughs> Smell you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, where's my... Because uh... I'm going to have side platforms for this station. Like right here. Oh, I don't hate on Droit Droitwich. Okay, I, I don't actually have a problem with Droit Droitwich at all. I, I, don't, I don't really know enough about the area to know, like, have any issues with it. If you haven't, if anyone has problems, ask the chat. <laughs> They're the ones who are like, going, ooh, these, these places in the Midlands. I've never been to Brum, this is interesting. You're not missing out, really. Oh, and I've added some more songs onto the jukebox, I should probably say. Um, 120. EU areas of London. Selhurst, Enfield, Tottenham, Peckham. Yep. Yep, there we yep, perfectly, um... No, co no co arguments with those. Oh, and Islington, definitely Islington. And Brixton. Uh, is Nimby Rails worth getting? Yes, it is. Well, okay. It is depending on what kind of gamer are you. So it's best to go through a sort of checklist to yourself. Are you the kind of person who likes to create... Who, who loves creating new things and can find their own form of entertainment? So if the answer is yes, then you should play... Then you should... I recommend Nimby Rails. If the answer is no... And and you really need a game like with a story mode, don't get Nimby Rails. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Because this game basically relies on you having imagination. If you have no imagination, then this game will be boring and it'll be a waste of money. That's my review. I like anything that isn't modern day Call of Duty. To be honest, Modern day Call of Duty is nowhere near as popular as it used to be in the past. That's what I'd say. I think after Infinite Warfare, uh, people pretty much... Surely after Infinite Warfare, people st stopped caring about that. Oh, hang on, I'm going to do a different way of doing this here. Also, good evening, Matt. Welcome to the stream. And you're welcome for the advice. If you have any other questions with NIMBY, don't hesitate to ask. Good evening, Dean, as well. So, in Nimby Rails, could I create a network for West Yorkshire? Of course! You could make a network for Iceland, if you want. Not as late as yesterday. Certainly on the on the basis that I wasn't even streaming yesterday. Yeah. Right. I got stuck in a lift in a sketch of cat sketchy uh, council flat in Barnsbury. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> I got I got stuck in a lift in in somewhere in Hounslow, uh, Hounslow East Station. But that was like, oh goodness. Hang on, how, when, how long ago was this? Uh, we're talking. Oh, I'm trying to remember when it was. Hang on, so. 24, 19, 18. Oh, about se six to seven years ago, I got stuck at Hounslow East Station's lift. Uh, yeah. Hounslow East Station isn't that bad. It's Hounslow itself that's the issue. But, you know, when, when you go through there hundreds of times like me in the past, you, you can sort of s handle it. Uh, does this mean I can create Pyongyang Railways? Yeah. I mean, again, this is your map of Nimby Rails. If it loads. There we go. If you if what you want to build is anywhere here, you can build it. Uh, how do you get the lines that show IRL tracks? 
Okay, so what you need to do is install a workshop mod. Uh, can I get the workshop on on here? Hang on. No, I hate this interface. I forgot how you got the workshop. Oh, there we go. So what you need to do is go to the Steam Workshop, if it loads. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, right, so you go to the Steam Workshop for NIMBY Rails. I'll just show, just so you know, at least. Hang on. So, NIMBY Rails. Uh, you go to the Steam Workshop, and then you go to Map Styles here. And then you'll have... Um, Something called Show Existing Railways. And actually, whilst I'm here, I'm going to install this for something later. Um, you, you you install this mod. And you go back to the game. And you'll get this option here called Show Existing Railways. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, I got jump scared. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that spoils the little thing I was going to do. And then you press Show Existing Railways. And there you go. It just shows the railway here. Uh, and there you go. There are a few other mods that you can get as well. I have, well, Global Canvas, which does this. This makes the map look a little bit, with colours, closer to reality. So it looks a bit more like a map. And I think it looks pretty good when you've got all the trains running. And then you have the Midnight one, which is the same, except After Hours. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you're a vampire and you like night mode, it's got that. But I'm not a vampire. Uh, uh, is this game just for Steam or is it on any other... Uh, no, it's only on Steam, I'm afraid. You know, no consoles. However, the, the game isn't that resource intensive. It just requires lots of memory because you need... A, because it's downloading a map of the whole world. So, you know, it's like, it takes up like 25 gigs, so that's a lot. But at the same time, you get the whole world, so it's hard to be angry at that. Well, I think you like Belgium. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Oh. Uh, opinions on Brussels City like Belgium. Once a Brussels saw some guy outside the hotel with a bloody chainsaw. A bunch of oh, I saw glue sniffers at Central. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, Brussels. Okay. So, I have a thing where I like going to bad places on purpose, because it it prevents me from becoming a snob. <laughs> it's, it, it's really... It doesn't make sense when you think about it like that, but I just like going to bad places, because it also gives me, like, inspiration. And, um, funnily enough, I'm actually going to be going to Brussels in the stupidest trip I've ever done this Sunday. So, I don't have enough money to go on the plane. Which is fine. So, I'm going to do... I was thinking, okay, I'm going to take the coach. Uh, I'm going to take the coach there, and then I'm going to get the plane back. Unfortunately, uh, Brussels Airlines likes money, and British Airways like money. A, a bit too much. So, I've sort of had to... Actually, let me try this again, actually. So, um, I've had to rethink. Wait, what can I do? So, I was going to get the coach there, and I was going to arrive at 7 in the morning... That was my original plan, and I'm fine with that. I, I, I can do that. But then I realised oh, I haven't got enough money. How do I get back home? And, well, um, obviously Euro starts out the question as well as the plane. And then I realised, hang on a second. Flixbus also go back to London. But when, when's the, when does the coach depart from Brussels? And I googled it up, and um, it departs at 11.30 at night. And, oh, goodness. <laughs> if only, I mean, if only, why would anybody invest in a coach, overnight coach from Brussels at 11.30 at night? And, well, there you go. That's how I'm getting to Brussels there and back. <laughs> I am. Um, here's the thing, okay? I don't actually like going out late at night. I, I hate it. And I'm going to go to a, a city that I know I don't like. At night. Oh, oh, I'm I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm, I've actually been trying to plan. Oh, how can I mess around on the metro and the trams and avoid the yobbos and the druggies? How, like, where do I go? 
Because <laughs> I have to sort of stay in Brussels. I, I could go to Leuven. Or, like, oh, no, 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 like, but Leuven's a university, so no, no, that's Louvain. I don't know. See, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> so, I need to sort of think how to sort that out. Uh, opinion on Kid Minister? None. Sorry, no opinion. And I'm glad you get Eurostar discounts. <laughs> oh, I don't know where that came from. Oh, sorry. Hmm. That was weird. <laughs> Russell's was probably alright. I just went to the central area. Well, that's the thing. I, I have to stay in the central area at least um, around 11 p.m. Because that's when the coach departs. And if I, if I miss that coach, I am screwed. Like, no questions. You can't just get the next one. <laughs> uh, go, going to North Sheen after sunset is a very bad idea. Uh, I, to be honest, I haven't been to North Sheen in years, so I'm going to have to take your word for it. Just politely nod. Russell's is fell overpriced for what it is. Uh, well, um... Uh, well, I don't really go to, like, gift shops and stuff like that. I pretty much just stay on the trains and trams and buses. Oh! Well, walls are station. Whoops, I gotta, I gotta build this. Ugh. Right, so, how do we work? How do we go about walls of all? Hmm. I'm thinking of giving it six platforms. But, because... Uh, well, let me have a quick thing. Go to the first, uh... A uh, state you see in Bra Leeds, Bradford, and I think you'll like it. Uh, nah, I'm good. Sorry. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Funnily enough, Leeds and Bradford is on my, like, future trip list. Because I need to film more free free freeze and ride more free free freeze. Mm. But, yeah. My entire time in Brussels was spent on the AM75s and M4s. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. Yeah. But um, I need to... There are plenty of Belgian trains I need to actually quickly ride on before I can do a review. I've got so much. Uh, uh, I got lost in Denmark Hill a few weeks ago. I went to the station, went to get some lunch, but then went the wrong way down the road and ended up walking for 15 minutes in the wrong direction. Then into Skulkman. <laughs> I'm surprised people get lost this easily nowadays, considering, um, what's it called? Pe it's like, maybe it's just me and I have decent navigation skills, but surely people shouldn't be able to get lost this easily nowadays. No, if not not to have like a direct have a go at you or anything, but like. If I need to go where I go, I, I usually just use, like, waypoints out on my phone and I just, like, make make mental waypoints. That's the way I like to get from A to B and C. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll give... Now nah, we'll give it five platforms. Walls all gets five. I thought that'll do. Okay. Come on. I should have recorded some footage so I can make some reviews, sadly. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I mean, missed opportunities are just a thing of life. It always happens. And besides, I, even if you recorded footage, I, I'd still need to um, ride on them some more because, again, I've forgotten what it's like to... Oh, it's been so long since I went to the free, free, free that I've forgotten what my opinion on them was. So if I need to go, since I already need to get some extra footage, it's perfect. If I go and schedule a trip to Leeds and Bradford in the future, it's not a downside, is what I'm trying to say. The area aside. I have far too much footage of Belgian trains I'll probably never use, uh, but better 
Yeah, I yeah, better is too better, better too much than too little, I suppose. Yeah, that's the same mindset that I have. I still need to film way more Belgian trains, even though I've got quite a lot myself. But the thing is, is with me, I'm very fussy with um, <laughs> I'm very very fussy with footage. I must film all the Belgian trains and ride the Belgian trains. Also, well, hello, GW Villager. Welcome to one of my streams. I just feel so scummy at the minute with TPE and the upgrading of the line. How come? What's going on? Are they going to make it a two-platform station or something? Let you know need a many Hello. Will do. I actually, well, I did actually speak to you because I was going to... um. You know, I actually hadn't minded to do, like, a, a silly collab with you in the past, but the idea flew out my head <laughs> uh, of what I was even going to suggest. I haven't... Also, I feel bad I haven't got round to watching your uh, video on um, Bristol buses. I just haven't had a chance, so I'm really sorry. But it does look interesting, and I want to watch it, but my, I just keep forgetting. <laughs> I'll probably watch it while I'm going to bed before I um, finish the stream. Well, after I finish the stream, I can't watch it speak and, you know, stream at the same time. I'm not that an MLG. All right. All right how can we do this? I'd love a grab. <laughs> well, that, you know, puts a smile on my face at least, you know. We'll keep that, I'll keep that idea to consider for the future. I might just, maybe I'll join your Discord server and then, you know, just, just so I can get your contact details and then immediately leave. Because I, I am not the, not the biggest fan of being in Discord servers, honestly. <laughs> also, hello Jake, welcome to the stream. Alright, walls all, walls all. We're gonna give walls all five platforms. You are both royalties in our in my eyes. You gotta be careful. Don't worship uh, other YouTubers as gods or anything like that. It's great to enjoy people's work, but we aren't gods. We're just random internet strangers making videos. So, just just it's always good to keep. It's always good to never put people on pedestals, regardless of who is. You know, even if you enjoy our work, it's great if you do. I'm glad that you do. But, you know, it's sort of... <laughs> we're not that... We're not gods or anything. <laughs> uh, I think Glasgow or Edinburgh needs an S-Bahn. It, it, <laughs> uh, it's, um... Uh, honestly, it probably would work well. It would like it would probably be like a similar S-Bahn to, like, the Rhine Ruhr. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> There is someone who has an apparently religious hatred of flirts. Oh boy, he's gonna hate. He's gonna hate. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a railway review to the Stadler flirts in Germany. <laughs> oh goodness, I love those ones. They're like so much better than the ones we have here. <laughs> um, never meet your heroes. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's it's um, it's one of the situations where I'm um, when you say like never meet your heroes. I think it's more, what I'm trying to get here is not so much never meet your heroes, don't worship your heroes. Because there are people you can meet who are perfectly great. Um, but it's, you know, I, I think it's just more like, keep a ha keep a foot in reality. If I request a railway review, will I get vote kicked from the chat? Lobby and permanently banned. Ooh, what a, do you want to try? You want to try your chances? <laughs> 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 oh, the only good adventures are the 720s. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Goodness me. Uzbekistan ER9. There I said it. Well, considering it's a train that I have absolutely no idea what it is, nor is it a country I'm even going to go to, um, I can't really ban you because... It would feel un unfulfilled, is what I'm trying to say, yeah. Oh, behave, you stupid headphones. Um, 
How long have I got the platform? 155 meters. I need to make it a bit longer. By good, I mean less bad. Oh, even then. I don't, I don't even want to pick which one's the least worst. They're all garbage. Just in different ways. Can't believe you haven't done the rest of the sprinters, though. Well, the reason... Uh, I've actually explained this in my behind-the-scenes video, but I'm more than happy to explain it again. The reason why I haven't done the sprinters is because um, there's a train called the Class 155. Now, the 155 is unique in the sense that it only runs in one area in the UK, which is up north. And I don't have the money to go up north yet. So I'm saving up money to uh, uh, be able to film and ride the 155. And when I can do that, then I'll do the sprinters. It's that simple. I've got footage of every other one, like more than enough footage, but not. I haven't got enough for 155 footage. So until I can do that, no 155 review, no sprinter review. Simple. It's really not that difficult to work out. Slash rod. <laughs> it's not like I don't want to review the sprinters. There are an interesting bunch of trades. <laughs> but, you know, my bank account uh, is, is you know, is, has some has more influence than my viewers. No offense. All right. Uh, honestly, not worth coming up here to the north. Well, uh, I, I, well... <sighs> I honestly like some aspects of the North, but more so in a so bad it's good thing, rather than, you know, genuinely liking them. And they run in Bradford. Well, I think they run... Well, the service I know they definitely run is the, the one that goes from York, Leeds, and... The, I think they go York, Leeds, Hull, and Bridlington. I think that's where they run. Which is, you know, the North, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Uh, the 730s are actually quite good. Uh, I'll just read what GWR Village just said before the, the chat's fall away. A huge step up from the 3 2 threes at least. The thing is, well, not I don't want to spoil it, but I, I partially agree with that. But only in a few aspects. Yeah, I mean, there are some... Um, there are some areas of the North that I honestly like. I mean, even Middlesbrough has a so bad it's good sort of feel to it, and I really like that about it. Oh, the platform's long enough! Yay! Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a sort of similar thing to real real life, where half sort of half ish of the station is under the ground. I kind of like that about that wall. I went to York to film stuff on Monday. It's good. The southern end is better because the northern end has that sharp curve. And there's a strange separate curve for the Scarborough line. Uh, um, well, that's kind of a cool idea. I mean, I do. It's that sort of reminds me of Nijmegen in the Netherlands. If you think about it, I mean, it is pretty much just Nijmegen, just not as um. Uh, well, yeah, it is. Pretty much. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, what? Oh, to the journey Good evening, Daniel. Uh, hopping in for a bit between uni work. Yeah, fair enough. Always good to make sure, um, you know, you could always... I um, hope I can alleviate some of the pain of university. If it's... Um, yeah, well, yeah, just hope I can alleviate your uni pain. <laughs> My friend has so many stories about how much painful uni was. Uh, what do you think of TPE's removal of local stock? 
Honestly, I think it was stupid. Such a stupid thing they did. And, you know, I never got the chance to ride on the Mark V A sets. I filmed them, though. But that's it. Pain, though. Very painful. I mean, I haven't heard that many good things about them. Um, definitely, I've heard that standard class is pretty bad. And there are lots of rumours of what's going to happen to them. And honestly, I do think if they were to go to Chilton, that would be the best option for them. Because Chilton need all the trades they can get. <laughs> Uh. Hmm. Uh, where was it? The Mark Fives weren't anything special. Yeah, I could believe them. Honest, I could believe that they didn't seem that much special. I would have. I did think they looked at least a bit interesting. Looked nice, but <laughs> goodness me, it's just why can't. Calf, build a train that's comfortable. Or maybe that's the wrong question. Why Why are so many... Surely the, the Trans Pennon Express deserves so much better. It's just so inconsistent. Like the 185s, they're lovely to ride on. When it's not a free car service in a peak. But what's going on with these numpties? <laughs> See, I'm off leaving to bury my can, Hallett. Yeah, I'm not even going to entertain that one. <laughs> <laughs> or electrify the Chilton mainline. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be great as well. But, you know, can't have sensible options in this day and age. Uh, uh, hang on a second. Oh, you actually meant it! Oh, I'm so sorry your cat passed away. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm really sorry about that, Oscar. Oh, goodness. Oh, I did not mean that. Oh, I feel bad now. I know how bad losing a cat is, so, yeah. Actually, you know, when you mentioned about um, traveling by rail, you mentioned about the Chilton running their short formations. I'm actually going to quickly look on real-time trains right now and see what, what Chilton is offering. Let me just check. So, uh, MYB. What's the service like today? Right, let's look at Oxford 4 car, Birmingham Moor Street 5 car. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, we got our free car Snow Hill service at 1936. Woo! Oh, hell yeah. Um, two car rice, that's, that's, you know... Can't complain about that. Hi, Wickham is two coaches. And is that another one? That's free car. T oh, another free car Birmingham service. Oh, two in a row. Oh, this is delicious. Go on, Bennett. Oh, this is lovely. Hmm, let's see what I can do with this layout. I've sometimes seen a two-car 165 running more street. <laughs> uh, fortunately, when I was on a 165 from more street to London, it was six coaches. Even if it was two plus two plus two. But, no, nah, oh, goodness, that sounds horrible. Horrible. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna add a diamond, actually. Hmm. Does this work? I don't really like that. Hang on, wait a minute. Let me fix this. I've got, I, I can sell. I can save this. I've got an idea. Right, so 
TP needed an extremely um, quick introduction of new trains, why I don't know, hence the several design manufacturers. Obviously the designs themselves aren't amazing, but they didn't have much choice. <laughs> what a shame. Uh, very tragic, honestly, when you, when you hear these stories. The multi-million pound company struggles once again. Actually, let me make this a thunder. Now nah, I'll keep it like that. Actually, oh, that works. I don't know. Only 185 servers that we should be free car the Hazard Field Stoppers and York to Scarboroughs. Uh, I've had the glory of uh, being shouting of a shout out by a guard on the telly once. I don't know where that is. I've never been on a 68 cents. I'm surprised. Well, I, I can't say I'm surprised, honestly, because um, they only have X amounts, which X is a number I can't be bothered to search up. Uh, offsets. So, and they only run at certain times of the day. And even then, the, the, the times they used to run, I've forgotten what the times they now, now run. They used to be a lot more frequent throughout the day. Oh, the Tannoy. Oh, oh. The Tannoy. Oh, gotcha. I would hate to be given a shout out on a tannoy. That's the kind of thing that, you, that that's the kind of thing that gets people embarrassed. All right. Uh. Well, let's see this junction. Excuse me. We'll have another ladder junction. This area doesn't deserve um. What's it called? Flying junctions. Hello, I was at the shops again. Hello, welcome to the stream. I don't know why I paused halfway through talking there, but yeah, welcome to the stream. Because um, we're not at the shops. Wait, what, am I, what am I saying? I'm not thinking. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Even though the whole carriage is looking at you. Well, what were you doing? Would the passenger stop touching up the dog on, on in Coach 5? Yes, you. Please. Oh, I just had it. There we go. There we go. Fixed it. Right. So, okay. All right. Now we can do the line to Brown Hills, which will be single track. Hmm. Single track up to... Yeah, single track. Oh my days, it's raining again. Why are you shocked? It's Britain. This is normal weather. Even for springtime. <laughs> the first Britain to ever be shocked by the rain, ladies and gentlemen. EMR used to have, used to sometimes run a one car, 153 to Liverpool, Norwich. No, I refuse to believe that. Uh, that is just picks or it didn't happen. I'll accept the 153 connected to a 156 or a 158. I've seen that. But a 153 on its own? Mm -mm, no, no, I don't, ref I refuse to believe that. Those outright balls to that, no. <laughs> uh, right. It was 20 degrees this off. It was 20 degrees this afternoon. I, I thought otherwise. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> it can, I've had it rain when it was 30 degrees. 
The temperature does not stop the rain. And that wasn't even in Britain. That was in the Netherlands. When I was at, um... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, I can't remember. I was near Venlo. Uh, I used one of the clips, um... In the railway review to the GGW, but it was raining when I was filming it, even though it was bright sunshine. Which, you know, that feels weird to see. One of GWR's old favourite was a booked 153 from Southampton to Great Wolf. <laughs> I want to say that's balls as well, but I could actually believe that with... I could believe that with, you know, GWR for some reason. Ugh. Trying to get on the two-car Norwich Liverpool service in the morning is not fun. Hardly, I could not imagine. It's not fun when it's four coaches, let alone two. I had to take the um, Liverpool service uh, last week, so it was extremely grim, overcrowded and dirty. If I'm curious, if I may ask, was it a 170 or a 158? Um. Also, what's your opinion on WCR's arguments over central locking systems? I haven't heard them. What's going on with that? I don't know what's going on. Are they like having? Are they having a hissy fit because they have to lock the doors on their trains or something? Also, let me add a station. Oh, no, wrong one. So Heath End will be our first intermediate stop. A one five A. Oh dear. Well, I, I say that, but um. Uh, I'm surprised the 158s are that bad to, in terms of the interior. Surely it was, um, surely it would have kept it looking decent even from when, uh, EM, EMT were keeping it. I mean, because EMT, you know, they looked fine, but, hmm, weird. I missed the train before, which was an X, uh, TFW 170 in the first class. Oh, yeah, because those are the X, um, those were on the X Greater Angular ones. They have the lovely... Big first class seats. Yeah, I know what you want to be mean. But it's obviously declassified. Before joining the stream, I saw a free car through 31 through using the through platforms at Stoke. <laughs> Something must be uh broken. <laughs> Oh, stained with suspicious substances. <laughs> no comment, GW Villager. No comment. <laughs> EMR London Sheffield can also be horrendously overcrowded. Yeah, especially since, uh, well, they got rid of that uh, five car. Um, well, no, because it's either five or seven coach trains they got on that line, which is dumb. Not enough. I want their HST back. I miss their HSTs. They were nice. Because they were, you know, the VP185 ones, which aren't as ear rapey as the Valentas. I don't know much about it. They have to stop using their Mark 1 stock because of the exemption has run out in Somerset. Ugh. Well, since I don't know much about it either, I don't have much of an opinion. I can't really add much. I mean, if they can't use it, they can't use it. Right, so... Um, Leon, the free car still have the original seats. Uh, or two, five, further. Very rarely. Yeah, exactly. That really seldom happens. Well, since I've got real-time trains open now, let's see if any of them are 10 cars at the moment. So, STP. Let's check. Uh, oh, oh dear. Lots of delays on the Midland Meg line. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, that's so sad. Tragic. No, not mean the Midland Main line. I mean, no, I was right, yeah. I mean, Thameslink services, but whatever. Okay, well, the 1835 and the 1902 were 10 coaches, but then it's back to... Well, be, well there were 10 coaches, and now it's back to 5. Woo! Delicious. 
I hope there are more bus reviews. We'll see what the future has for that. I'll keep my cards close on that. Uh, uh, the 745s that run on Norwich, London to Norwich, have first class, but the ones that the standard ones don't. I'm not sure how it works when a 745 gets substituted on a Norwich service. I've seen it happen quite often. It's the I think it's just the norm. As far as, well, to me, it's like, you shouldn't be shocked if it happens. Uh, I just need to check one thing, because I'm not sure if Riders Hay, if Riders Hayes is uh, a place, is like a, is it a name of a school or a name of a place? Like a little suburb, because I'm seeing school. Maybe it's like a little suburb within Walsall. Oh, that place is called Pe Pelzall. Okay, we'll call it Pelzall then. Oh, mine will call it Pelzall. Alright. What's the real time trains app called? Well, it's just called Real Time Trains. Just go on Real Time Trains and have and you can get the um times of like trains. Uh, here's, there you go, it's called, let me put it in the chat. Yeah, it's just called Real Time Drones, that's the website. Alright, Pell... Maybe a little bit closer to where that area would be, technically. There we go. I don't mind. Actually, I'll put this on the curve as well. Uh, also, I noticed we have a Northern Ireland comment uh, channel. So, hello, welcome to the ch welcome to the stream. I don't have any Northern Ireland jokes to make, so feel free to make them on your own uh, at your discretion. But hello. Also, hello, Yowie. Welcome to this stream. Oh, platform's too long. Indeed, Yowie returns to grace us. As long as it stays like that, I'm I'm happy. Oh well, yeah, I mean, I mean, typically I would I like make I I the thing is is I like making jokes of anything, but I don't have any material for Northern Ireland, which is. <laughs> oh, you live in Northern Ireland, but based in Scotland. Oh dear, that's a unique situation to be in. I'm sorry. Yeah, the middle, the the um, Meridians definitely had a sort of identity crisis with how many coaches they wanted. Nine, or no, four, or oh, five, seven. They just couldn't choose like back and forth. Very. <laughs> Also, I don't think I've, um, if you haven't, you, um, Mr. Ted, I think, um, good work on the reskins, by the way, and little mods. It's great to see you've been improving. Because even though I don't really play Train Sim that much, it is just nice to see your work getting better. So, well done. Alright, um, Brown Hills, where the terminus of this line will be, if I remember to connect these blast lines together. Ah, uh, even better. Um, there we go, Heath End, Pelzel, and Brownell. Right. Uh, Pelzel and... Walzel. <laughs> Daniel, guess what? 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 A, what? <laughs> What, Yowie? What happened? Did you finally, um, did you finally, uh, I don't, I don't know. Guess what? What happened? What happened, Yowie? And you're welcome, Ted. There's you know, no need to be, there's no need to feel like it's a cliche. It's good that you can, you know, 
feedback is feedback and more than that it's just good to it's always good to hear what other people have to think of your work no matter how insignificant some people might think it is I wrote on something today. Oh, oh, yowie, yowie. Um, it's um, you know, you don't need to tell us about what happens going on in the bedroom. You know, keep that to yourself. Whatever, so you well open goal you walked right into that <laughs> you did say i wrote on something well what do you expect me to say <laughs> it's like when you were growing up in school and you ever asked what was the time the the default response was time to get a watch and that's your own fault for saying that <laughs> we all said that back in school it was a bus um, was it a Plaxton pointer that had just had its M um, MOT expired? <laughs> the only good bus in the UK, Gemini 3. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Since, oh, there we go. Since it was built in Northern Ireland, oh, fair enough. Slight bias. <laughs> Which is worse, Voyagers or IETs? IETs. Easiest question to, well, to ask. Right. Um, well, we got the line to Brown Hills added. Um, I'm just double checking this track layout once more quickly. Uh, 80. Oh crap, I just realised I need to add the junction at the south end. <laughs> Silly me, Daniel. How are you supposed to expect trains to reverse? Dummy. <laughs> the electroliners are excellent. Right seems to resolve most of their issues. Yeah, the newest, honestly, the newest electroliners aren't that bad. I honestly can I can tolerate them. It's the street lights I have a problem with, and the street decks that have um, well, well the engines that have um, you know what's it called? Like though I can't remember which ones, but there are ones there are street decks that have basically no engine power to speak of. <laughs> like I feel like they got an engine from their mate's lawnmower and went that'll do. And then they just can't get up any form of hills. <laughs> uh, there's only other type of bus in my town. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I can, again, I can sort of tolerate. I can. St I mean, I do, I do agree. Um, yeah, those four cylinder ones. That's yeah, that's what I meant. The four cylinder ones just had the crap, like no power in the engines. <laughs> Those ones are just underpowered tosh, but the electroliners and the hydroliners I can tolerate. Keyword tolerate. Gemini three B five B five TLs. Honestly, I mean, um, Delane have the B five TLs. Then dude, those ones weren't too bad. We actually reached 40, 50 miles an hour, and they sounded quite nice. But I think that was like an outlier. <laughs> I mean, that was definitely an outlier of the bunch. Translink and Irish Rail have been hinting to replace their loco stop with IETs. Well, they'll have to build brand new IETs because don't Irish have don't Ireland doesn't Ireland have like a different gauge? Yeah. 
Who puts four cylinders on a double decker? Who puts four cylinders on a bus full stop? <laughs> I remember there was a bus in the UK, like in, in London, the right um, cadet electro city, and they originally built them with Vox, um, Vauxhall 1.9 litre engines because they thought that was sufficient and, well, to the grand shock of no one, they were very not reliable. <laughs> so, yeah, they had to replace them with, like, standard Cummins engines. And I'm sort of... I'm sort of... The, yeah, I mean, the kites were nice, honestly. They got good seats, somehow. I like the kites. Right, so... They were hybrid, though, weren't they? Yeah, they were hybrid. So, I, whilst it does make sense to have, like, a small engine, it needs to have some power, I'd say. Because, well, if they had to replace them with, like, Cummins engines, probably, then surely the engines they got were just too crap. Then again, I said... You know what, whilst I'm, I'm going to search what engines did the uh, Van Hall hybrids had, because uh, Van Hall uh, A330H... No, A360H... Because they, sure, I think they had bigger engines, the hybrid ones. Uh... Okay, I've got the engine name, but I don't, I don't know how many, um, I don't know how many cylinders it had. So let me just Google it. Six cylinders, yeah. Okay, six cylinder engines. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense for that kind of bus. Dumbass. <laughs> uh, I've got no idea what's going on. <laughs> I found a tank car Meridian Sheffield to Derby. No, I was probably going to the depot in that case. Oh, uh, we'll accept that. Also, hello there, Sam and Aaron. Are you welcome to the stream? Nice to see you here as well. Stream's really active today. Don't know why. I'm not questioning or or complaining. It's good to have some people here and chat with. The only bosses I love are Dart and Trident too. Fair enough. I miss the pointers in Medway. I miss... Hang on, don't they... Um, don't they still have the pointers in... Um, what's it called? Ugh, what's it, what's the name? Ugh. Uh, Blue Water. They had some They had some really old pointers there. Didn't, what happened to them? Aren't they still running? I know it's not the proper area of Medway, but it's close enough, isn't it? Full car work, um, what's it called? Uh, also, I'm doing fine, I should say, Sam. I've got to answer. Also, um, uh, four cylinders work on like a solo or short one or short E200. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but not on like a slightly longer bus. Like if it's 10 meters or 12 meters, it needs to have an engine, like instead of just a, a hamster and a wheel. As far as I know, I'll be interested in what they'll be like. I'm not looking forward to the 805 and 807 at all. But I'm glad that you can be a little bit more optimistic, GW Villager. I'm really glad that you can, because I am I have no optimism that the stupid decisions that make have non-tilting trains on the West Coast mainline. To replace trains that can tilt. Alright. Because, you know, the thing here is that whenever people say, oh, they can accelerate, I always bring up Leighton Buzzard. If your train can't tilt, you're going at there at 90. No questions. I have been on a train through there at 90. You can feel the G-Force. You don't want to go through that curve at Leighton Buzzard, the one that goes into the tunnel, or the train that cannot tilt... At speeds where they they should be tilting. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. And yeah, seven car, um, seven car trains on the Liverpool services are stuck are garbage because they're packed with the nine and eleven coach units. 
Oh yeah, probably riding the kites today. They're decent, but I still prefer the ADLs. Uh, uh, well, I can't, I can't more. Well, I think the kite, I think the kites are much better electric buses than the Enduro two hundred electrics. That's me at least. But they are getting new speed differentials. Obviously, they might lose a few minutes, but diesels under the wires is probably worse than no tilt. It depends on... In the environmental aspect, it's worse. When it comes to having a... a the, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Because the thing here is that... There was actually a plan in the past, like several years, more than a decade ago, that they were going to put pantographs on the Voyagers. But the government vetoed that, even though that would have been an excellent idea that would save fuel, save money, and make the Voyagers even faster. And the, Mer and the Meridians as well. And it's not like they, can't, they wouldn't have been good battle, because they remember they're diesel electric. So, um, they just have electric motors. So, so yeah. And that's why I'm sort of just really iffy, because there's so many stupid decisions. The extreme seat density of the IET made a 7 car standard class will have you know, more sand class than 9 car 390s. Okay, then what about 11 car ones? <laughs> There you go. It's so it will have more seats than the nine car ones, fine, but less than, than the eleven coach ones. Bimo Voyages would have been a very good idea. It would have been such an amazing idea. But again, the government doesn't think about the future. It thinks about the now. All right. Well, with that sorted, I think. Um, well, we've got to connect the depots. Let me connect Beskit Depot. We don't have to worry about freight, so to any freight viewers going, no, 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 no freight yard. Screw you, I don't care. Oh, hang on. That's not right. Uh, the fact that all Pendolinos weren't extended to 11 coaches was silly. There's probably a reason why. The plan is two trains an hour to Liverpool up from one. It's Birmingham I'm most worried about. Yeah, I mean, two trains an hour to Liverpool would be excellent. But Birmingham really needed that three or if not four trains an hour, honestly. Because again, it gets packed with 11 car trains. Oh, I, f I, I forgot to do this blasted junction. <laughs> Crap, basket. Let me, let, me, let me fix this up. Oh, hang on. 140. Money, yeah, money. There we go, that explains it. Money, money, money. Loads of money. I feel like any good idea to make old trains better it either gets vote kicked or the seven tip died happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just sort of. Nothing really works for the railway here. Liverpool just got a second LNER service at the cross to the Crew de Brom service. How many more services does it need? Wait, really? I forgot. I haven't been uh, keeping in touch with the new timetable. What, what what happened? I thought it was one train an hour to Liverpool on that service. And it was like the one that goes to Birmingham. Like Birmingham to Liverpool. Unless something happened. I'm not trying to be like a joker. I genuinely don't know what's going on. Right, 
Alright, so that's the platform biscuits. Now we just need to add the, um, connect up the depot. Which I realise I'm already using the wrong track because I'm a numpty. I have the siding track here. No, there we go. How long have I been streaming for? What, an hour already? Goodness me. Wow, I'm shocked. The reason the crew to Brom via Stoke is now cold at Stafford was to give Liverpool... Ah, oh, alright, fair enough. Yeah, knowing of Andy, they'll probably cancel half the IET services a week anyway. Everybody knows. <laughs> Everybody wins! Yay! Because of Avanti are incompetent. Honestly, I'm so sad of just how crap the West Coast Main Line is now. Honestly, because I loved riding on the West Coast Main Line with, with Virgin. And at the beginning, Avanti wasn't that bad. At the beginning, but now it's just become garbage complete utter garbage but the refurbishment on the 390 they made the train i feel like i have a minor conspiracy theory where they made the train worse on purpose so they could encourage more people to buy first class seats it's so bad Three point nine one two one two three three. Oh, fair enough. You know, Virgin is trying to make a return to the railway industry. Oh, I'll be interested to see what happens now, Mister Branson. Try to come crawling back after Spaceship One and Hyperloop sort of crashed in the burn to themselves. It's always impressive how much they ruined. I know. I'm so. It's just. It takes effort to make something that bad. I'm just so... How does somebody just look at the West Coast Bay Line its current state and go, mm, not bad, this is great, this is an excellent line. Well, you did crew use them a few months ago on the 390, my back died. Oh, you poor thing. Ugh. I used to love riding Pendolinos, and I gave them such a glowing review in my Railway Review video, because they're, they're comfortable. All they had to do... With the refurbishment was add updated passenger screens in the in the vestibules and you know maybe maybe improve the toilets and add plug sockets on the at all seats. That's all they had to do. But no, <laughs> no, you know me me want me want bad train. <laughs> Government clearly makes that assessment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and standard premium? Oh, I don't get it! Why? Who needs standard premium? And I forgot how much it costs. Hang on, let me just double check. Premium. Avanti. How much does it cost? Because they've probably changed the prices now. So, standard premium is just the original first class seats. Uh, upgrade start from £17.50 one way. That's on top of your standard class ticket. Go on, Bennett. Uh, just, what's the point? It's not an airline. <laughs> Which one? IETs or 180 and 175 coupled together? 180 and 175 coupled together. No questions. Because they're unreliable, but they're nice to ride on. That's the thing with the um Caradias. They're crap trains. Crap like cra like they're crappily built. Horribly built, but they're nice to ride on. IET is not that good built either. And not nice to ride on as well. But yeah, but not nice to ride on is what I'm going to say. Can start quite low on seat fraud and advanced tickets are reasonably cheap, but there's no point. It's unnecessary complication. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's yeah again. It's just not an it's not an airline. Like you don't need standard premium. 
It's like the kind of people who would spend a first class ticket flying from London to Paris on, on like British Airways. Well, you know, I've got to get my air miles somehow. <laughs> Why? Just save your money. Does your name have anything to do with Yowie? Yeah, uh, um, I've actually made that joke to him in the past. It's a just, just, he's probably not even going to entertain that one. I wouldn't if I were you, Yowie. Oh, Eve is entertaining it. Uh, Henry Train. Uh, maybe instead of trying to put pedal it, declassify and give passengers more room. Well, they need to declassify it, then they need to um, get standard class seats in there. If they want to, at least, you know, to increase the seating count. Ugh. It's like £2.65 to go from Halifax to Manchester Airport. If you book like in one month in advance. That's kind of cool, but I have no... I'm not really, um... What's it called? I'm not in a rush to go to Halifax or Manchester Airport. If you can understand. I do say how I assume see, see them take out the entire hate back hate back assembly at the 390. <laughs> I could imagine that too. Still saying very impressed by TFW standard premium, but only because it's dirt cheap. Still, I don't see why it can be branded as first class. I was just about to ask, like, what why is, what happened to first class? I guess they just think it doesn't deserve the name first class, maybe. Perhaps. That's my guess. Right. Hang on a second. So, uh, standard premium only works when for having first class wouldn't. But there are. I'm just trying to think. Like, what route would I put that kind of standard premium on? And I can't really think of many. Just in in the UK, at least. Uh, I can't think of any route that I would go, yeah, let's not put first class, let's call it standard premium. Seeing there's no wheelchair accident. Oh, that's why. That explains, okay, that explains a lot. Oh, so... Actually, that's a good question. Why didn't they... Oh. No, please. <laughs> no first class, so they can't put... Okay, so that explains. All right, then. The more you know. Okay, so we now have the sidings at Beskett. Um, We got Wolverhampton. And I'm going to feel guilty if I don't put at least some sidings at Soho. So let me do that right now. Because I think it's important we have some depot in Soho. 323 or 730. Well, if you're asking about the train we're going to be using on this route, it's neither. And if you're asking which one I'd rather ride on, it really depends. I've still yet to ride on the 197, so I don't know how bad those seats are going to be, honestly. No, I'm not looking forward to it. Actually, good fun, Fanzia Sophia's, though. Mm, I'm still not I'm nervous. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, maybe, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in no rush. Uh, 
fortunately, because this is NIMBY Rails, we can have more sidings than there are um, in reality. And also, another thing worth bringing up, is, which is a downside to NIMBY Rails, is that you can only have one train in one siding at, um, in one siding. <laughs> the crews hate them, the passengers hate them, the engineers hate them, the management hates them, the weather hates them. Oh man, I bet are they I bet they're regretting throwing away the 175s, so and that's saying something. <laughs> Like, you know, 175 was bad, but it was, like, workable bad. Whereas the 197 is, you know, <laughs> you know, as, as the generator said, a calf moment. <laughs> All right. Uh, we can put we put 15. But as I was saying earlier, like, the thing with Nimby Rails is that you can only have one train in one siding. So it's in reality, obviously, you would be able to have like lots of um uh trains in a single siding if it's short. But here you can't. E each train takes up one siding, regardless of if it's three, six, nine, or one coach, which is painful, and you have to work with. But you have to work with it. Part of the game. They absolutely are. The 1797s aren't even able to meet their book diagrams yet, so when the 150s, 15X go, go I've got no idea what they'll do. Yeah, if that happens, I think they're just... They're, I think they'll just have to... You know, go. They're gonna have to probably go to Northern and beg for more trains. Like, please, we need trains. What happened to your other existing trains? We threw them away. Why? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, look, buddy. I'm an engineer. That means I solve problems. Not problems like what's a, what's a D. Uh, I can't even do that. I can't come up with anything for the book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when they first introduced the 195, uh, I was so excited to only be hit with crippling disappointment and disgust. <laughs> hey, you know. Well, you know, it's. I oh, did the same mistake again. It's um, the Northern Experience trademark pending. Well, my issue with the 196, and you probably know what it is already, but it's the two-car versions. I know they, I know why they exist, but it's, it's, I still think it's stupid. Okay. From passenger experience, they're all right. Uh, not problems like what's a DMU. I solve practical problems. <laughs> Thanks for salvaging that joke, Sam. <laughs> You'll get one house point for that. Two cars are fine if used sensibly, i.e. run in multiple in Shrewsbury and Hereford. Uh, alright then. Well, you, since you're all, since that's your neck of the woods, does that happen often, Ted? <laughs> well, you know, does that act, does, how often does that happen? <laughs> I think my secondary school at Boris House Points. Uh, oh well. You win some, you lose some. Not as much as then they had introduced. Uh, there you go. There you go. The point. My my case re no, my case rests. Ooh. 
All right. So we need to have we need to have it so that trains can re reverse, obviously, into the siding. Usually, they send the one seven two instead. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why, but it just feels weird. Um. Uh. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> Hang on a second, so they do make spent on the It took me a while to work out what line you were referencing there, GW Villager. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now okay. None eaten Coventry Leamington Spa. But I can see them getting invisibly busy busy on the Camp Hill line. Which should be electrified. Yes it should. Not even, not even like for a joke. Right, I need to bring up my calculator quickly because I'm not too sure if I have the um. What the? That was weird. I need to make sure I've got enough space uh, for this depot, but it's reversing sidings. I have a sip of my mineral. Well, it's not mineral water. I've got I've got um Robinsons today. All right, so let me just work out to make sure I've got enough space in this siding because I need to make sure that trains can reverse. <laughs> uh, WMT have started branding it the Elephant and Bear Line. What? Why? I don't get it. What's the significance of elephants and bears in not eating and Coventry? Someone, someone, uh, help! What? What's the significance? <laughs> All right, maths, maths, maths time. And no, I'm not putting double head chance. The game doesn't allow for that. At least here, it doesn't. It's a reference to the country animals of Warwickshire and... What? Really? Elephants and bears are... Oh, the county anim... <laughs> okay, alright, okay. That took me a while. I thought you meant country, like you were seeing elephants and bears just roaming around in Warwickshire. Like, what the hell? What's going on? What happened? <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, okay? Fine, fine. It's not as stupid as Windrush Line, that's for sure. Right, math. So, 96 plus... 73... 58... Okay, good. we got enough space. Um, well, 28 as well. Yeah, we got enough space. Uh, yeah, you don't need to brand every single line. Honestly, I just prefer how it is in, like, Germany, where the lines are just given very easy things to, um... Every easy lines to remember. S1, 2, S2, S3, S4, S5. There you go, that's all you need. On the county animals of Warwickshire, and not even a dude called <laughs> a dude called Gary and <laughs> his wife that spends the night in every <laughs> um, night drunk in the alley. Probably, maybe, maybe another area of the Midlands. <laughs> no, they're the patron saints. <laughs> Oh, okay, that was a good one. <laughs> and yeah, the tube lot, the tube uh, names work well as well because they they've like some they got some history behind them. Why they why they were named after named that? So that one is fine. Well, not, that is fine, I should say. It's funny how every time Yowie references. Um, references Gary. I have absolutely no idea what he's on about. I'm guessing it's just a running gag with somebody. 
Also, um, whilst I'm here, but I, I have a few people who are in the train sim community still active. Can anybody tell me, whilst I'm here, what the hell is going on with the 745 and 755 for train sim? Because I've been hearing things that Mr. Allen hasn't been treating the guy behind it very, very, very uncool. Let's just say that. So if anyone's got any input of what's been going on, the more the merrier. Appreciate it. If you don't, just then pretend I didn't say anything. Right, I can explain the ATS stuff. Great, please. Please, Sam. You seem to be in the know. I, I'm obviously not in the know I, not anymore. So, in your own time, give me any input. Seems to be taking light years. The... The development, more so, I'm not really focused on that itself. There's antics going on behind it. Uh, also, hey, Crazy Shark. Welcome to the stream. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you've been doing well. Ugh. Actually, I'm going to put my bedroom light on because it's now dark. Ah, lights. Very important. Just tuning in as I have a bad call. Well, oh, sorry to hear this. Uh, hopefully, you know, you can get well soon. Why do so many minor internet celebrities turn into megalomaniacs? <laughs> well, it always happens. Always. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Always. Greed is a powerful thing. Right, so Alan hired two developers to work on it. For some reason, Alan threw a hissy fit and blocked the developers' access to the source files. Devs on Sandy couldn't finish, but also Alan denying he blocked it sued them for breach of contract. The court hearing was last week. A ATS was found to be breach of contract. Way! <laughs> Get wrecked! Uh, anyway, nice to see some Nimby Rails. I've already got almost 1.75 thousand hours in the game. And I got it day one. Wow. Well, you're almost... Well, you're still behind me. I got um, 3,340 hours. The developers said, parry this. <laughs> you filthy catch. Yeah, they pretty much. Or like, you know, 1v1 me in court. All right, let's go. Which court? <laughs> I actually predicted that court would not end up for them. I said it in the last new show episode. Like, a, the, court, the judge would just throw their case out like that. Always had a bad feeling about ATS. Well, I had a bad feeling the day their site went up. He went after me. And I just said, really? There was no way he was going to tie. I'm surprised, honestly, it got that far. I really am. Because, obviously, you know, <laughs> it's just so stupid. Also, um, hey, Rave, uh, Ravey B. I still have Train Simulator, but I'm not really playing it at the moment because this game is much more fun and it doesn't take five years to load. Also, the claims they were making in court were very contradicting and they failed to submit their evidence on time. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, goodness. Well, my man, so many lawyers would only dream to have a case this open, you know, this shut, open and shut like that. Go on, better, my. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. <laughs> Bearing in mind at the time, I was only just starting out with train soon. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've always been sort of like. Yeah, it is just so sad trying to take this any further than Corn. It tells it's the point I was also making up in the new show. Well, not making up, making out, I should say, was that um, there's a um, ugh, when um, there's a degree of professionalism that's necessary when doing any projects, and this is something that the ATS cronies just don't have. They don't have any degree of professionalism. Because, um, 
Ugh. Because in what what universe would you ever consider saying I'm going to deliberately make my the work of my people I'm hiring harder and think you're gonna guess <laughs> and think you're gonna get away with why would you do that? Why? Like, even if I'm trying to put themselves put miss myself into Alan's shoes, the only reason I could ever think to lock somebody out of a project would be if they um if I need if they're doing something wrong, if they're deliberately sabotaging it, and then force them to speak to me. Even then, if someone was deliberately sabotaging it, I'd rather just stage an intervention. <sighs> yeah. The man himself asked me uh, <laughs> asked me if I wanted to work for an ATS before it launched and dodged a bullet. You damn right you did. Yeah. Uh, I tried speaking to one of the developers, um, like, Goo Studios, or Kutor Banhoff. I tried speaking to him, but he hasn't spoken back to me. I sent an email to him because I'm really concerned for him. Because he's just been... Oh. But, yeah, this is... Oh, thank you so much for the insight, Sam. This is a glorious comedy episode once again. Uh, still real painful to see this happening. Gio was, wasn't being sued. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I got it wrong when I guessed it. Okay. I feel like an idiot. Well, still, I still message him just so I can speak with him because I haven't spoken with him in years. But either way... It's still crap that it happened, and it should have never happened. Uh, so even if I got it wrong, it doesn't really matter. My point still stands. How like most people get let, let the thing get to its head. Yeah, because some people just take take advantage of just how popular they are. You know, with this kind of stuff, it's pain. It's really sad to see. Well, okay, I say that in the sense of. Um, I had I had faith in the ATS. I never, of course, I did. I was just so you know disappointed that it happened with the flirt because I was hoping for one in train to the nice train. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, I was quote unquote looking forward to it in the sense of oh cool a new train that I actually wouldn't mind using, but that's mainly because I was I'd be waiting for what um, uh, Ted would reskin the mid. Like I want you to, I really would love to see you do like um some meme liveries or some curse liveries like a um east midlands east midlands one east midlands flirt or a great or a grand central flirt yeah grand central would have been amazing i would have loved to see a grand central flirt by the way minor internet celebrity exactly D do you know what you know the reason why i always mock um myself of uh, uh what's it called uh, I always mock myself to say I, I have only a few, like, only 11,000 subscribers. It's to show that, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm minor in terms of popularity, but I don't let it get to my head. I, I all speak to you as if you're in the room with me or it's a pub. I don't speak to you like I'm a god amongst the men. And yes, I do have the joke where, you know, if you disagree with me, you should be deported to Wilmslow. But that's just a, a joke. <laughs> that's just like a, a like... Uh, just yeah, no. I wouldn't really deport people to Wilmslow because I you disagree with me on the class one eight five, for example. Br into city on flirt, yeah. Oh, what do you think of the first charge train? I don't know what that is, uh, Ravy. Could you clarify? Because I'm un I'm unsure which one you're referring to. Right, yeah, people need to stop thinking they're better than others because they have some internet followers. Unfortunately, this is what what's happened with the um the the current internet in this day and age. It's so much worse than it used to be a few years, well, several years ago, if that. Because, well, I don't know, it's just not not good, as you know you could say, because it's just people are just obsessed with being popular. Oh, the GWR two thirty. 
Oh, oh, that. Um, we were speaking about that in an earlier stream, actually. Saying that, well, as interesting as it is, it's not going to last that long. Not because, because, you know, the battery can only handle X amount of charges. Plus, it's a 230, which means I naturally have my doubts on it anyway. And, you know, if you keep charging it over and over and over and over and over again, the battery's just going to go... <laughs> And <laughs> so it might last like five years, ten absolute tops, ten. But after that, they're just gonna go, yeah, this thing's this thing's balked. Because even if they can get a new battery for it, it's gonna cost an arm and a leg. And yeah, battery technology is actually moving; it's getting better. But the thing here is, is you know, the point is what I'm trying to make out is that. Battery technology is moving, but the but so is the price. <laughs> it's gonna just keep, it's gonna get very expensive. And if the and to be honest, if I had to choose between a battery electric vehicle or overhead wires, give me wires all any day. Unless you're in a situation where wires are just impossible on every single degree. Or hydrogen, yeah, or hydrogen. Or also talk about hydrogen as well, which, you know, there aren't too many green ways of making hydrogen. You still require to do, like, crap like steam reforming, which, you know, not the best. <laughs> Lithium batteries don't have the best lifespan, but now there's a new battery type like salt or graphene. I've never, I've never looked into um, salt and graphene batteries. Also, I was going to mention that lithium is a limited resource as well. And it's a limited resource that also comes from many lithium deposits, mainly in South America, like Chile or Chile, the way I pronounce it. Are there any, um, is there any hydrogen trains running? Um, there's the hydrogen lint. Um, which is in Germany. <laughs> and Cobot, which is mined by children in Africa. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, but look on the bright side. They're contributing to a brighter future. Not for them, but for us. <laughs> uh. Have you not seen what's gone on a few times with the limited hydrogen bus fleets around the country? No. What's gone on with them? What happened? I haven't been keeping in touch. Right. Oh yeah, I need to do the sidings at... Um... Actually, it'll make more sense to put sidings... Somewhere else, not Bromsgrove. What the hell? Maybe we don't need sidings in Bromsgrove if we have three platforms. They've been having small periods of being off the road due to because of limited. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I genuinely didn't know about that, but that is kind of funny. <laughs> oh. Yeah, can only go around one trip, round, one round trip a day. <laughs> oh, Liverpool has hydrogen buses. I didn't know. I thought you oh those um fuel cell in Vera four hundreds. Ah, oh, right then. Lol. What's concerning? What's concerning is the seat on the, the that train looks exactly like the ones on the seven oh seven. Oh dear. <laughs> they don't have enough hydrogen to fuel fuel shortage. It's kind of like how the grid can't cope at all. <laughs> oh yeah, that was funny because. There was a, a bus driver YouTuber was telling about when they were getting the buses in that depot near Enfield. They couldn't charge them all at once because it would just knock out the electricity supply, which is hilarious. But it's also like, how did you not know that was going to happen? Duh. Right. Um, I think we are now ready then. We are now ready for our first train. And to actually build... At a grand total of two hundred and three thousand pounds, no, three thousand dollars. 
in games, whatever. Right, we are now ready. <sighs> Build all blueprints. Wait a wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot to change the platform textures. I think. Oh no, I didn't. Hang on. Nope. Okay, we're ready. Isn't that two hundred and three million? Yes, it is two hundred and three million. Because I just, re I just, I didn't read it properly. Because I'm an idiot. My apologies. Anyway, they built. Okay, it's now all built. As you can see here. So now it's changed from blueprints, and you can see all the track here. Nice. I actually, I really like these track textures. They look nice. And this is what Birmingham looks like. You can. I'll turn off the um, existing railways. Uh, there we go. So it's easy to see the track now. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Fusion reactors are now a thing, though. Um, uh, nah. Uh, I think that ends, that's still work. And, oh, crap, baskets. There's a gap. Uh, there's, a, there's a void in the platform. We've fixed that. There we go. I'm going to go and die. Be back in five. No rush. No rush. How do you fix this? <sighs> All right, let me just fix this void, and then we could add our trains, our train lines. Okay, right then, let's do that. So let's do our first train line. So S1 is going to be, um, well, first, before we can get to stop, we actually need to add the line, silly Billy. You can't build, you can't buy your trains and then go, now what? Oh, crap, we, we need to run them somewhere. Other way first. So um, with Nibby Rails, it's very easy to build a train lines. Very easy to add lines. I like to use a tagging system. Which I will take advantage of. It helps you sort of categorize your trains a little bit better, personally. So here, um, what I'm going to do is add a new tag, and that is category. Then subcategory under that will be um, the, th the different kinds of trains we'll have. Yeah, that's pretty much the method I'm doing as well. Albeit, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have the trains run automatically. I'm gonna have them run to timetables and diagrams. So, category um, S bomb, the new one, regional bomb. This is basically like semi-fast stoppers. So above S bomb, but below the next one. Which will be regional, regional express. And then above that will be inter, oh, no, inter city. Regio Barn. No, that's the, uh, oh, no, that's, that's the name of a company actually. And then we put high. HS2. There we go. <laughs> right. Now, uh, category. Uh, this will obviously, our first one's going to be obviously an S barn. Uh, think about how the industry would rev be revolutionized if something like the Arc Reactor from the MCU existed. To be honest, if anything from the MCU ever existed in real life, Transport, like, if you could teleport, transport would be redundant for that, like, instantly. 
Yeah. Anyway, um, here we're just using Electric and Espan. We might add companies later, but that's, you know, for later. So, um, Birmingham Espan 1. That's the name of the service. And then the code will be S1. Well, actually, I'm just going to call it Birmingham S1. Now, price, I'm a bit confused on, honestly. I'm, I'm still a bit... I don't know how you really, um, the best way of doing price. Because you have a base ticket price, and this is in dollars, I should say. But then you also have price per kilometer. I, for these routes, I, for an S-Bahn, I normally just do 150 and 0 0.10, actually. Not point, well, point, 0 point, well, 0.1. That seems to be like my the healthiest way I could do it, but I'm not too sure if that's too cheap. I'm really confused. I'm honestly not too sure about that. I might make it two, but yeah, I'd say that looks a bit reasonable. All right, so let's do S Barn One. I'll be off now. Good night, GW Villager. Nice to chat with you, and I might send you. I might join your message. Um, I might join your server and message you later on in, in the future, but you know me. See you later. <sighs> right, so we're going to make it use platform 2. Yeah, that seems to be a good way of doing it as well. We're going to make it so we can use platforms 2, 3 or 4. And we call it all stops, so... Heading saw... Ah, oh, crap, what have I done? I already made a mistake. Hang on a second. Tipton... Dudley... Ah, oh, crap, Sandwell and Dudley's got the wrong markers. <laughs> I are totally smart. The markers are the wrong way round. Smerick is the right way, at least. Same for Rolf Street's the wrong way around. And Ladywood. I'm an idiot. Okay, hopefully this should fix the problem. Excellent. Alright, so. Cosley, Tipton, Dudley Port, Sinwell and Dudley, Smith at Golden Bridge, Rolf Street, and, um,. We serve New Street, which I think I'm going to give like a two minute wait at New Street because Dusseldorf has something like that as well, where some, sometimes the trains will wait there for a couple of minutes, help make it so, you know, yeah. I accidentally made it so that the one-way signals have rendered the platform impossible to use. Yeah, I've made so many silly mistakes like that in the past. I know what you, I know what you mean. Vauxhall Duddleston. Oh, I also have some disused platforms here at Duddleston as well. I'm really happy with that. They turned out really, they turned out really good. Alright. Aston. Witten Villa Park, which I've renamed. Uh, just because I bought that. Yeah, it is basically like a time buffer in a way. Yeah. And also makes it a little bit better for connection times. Tank Bridge Parkway, Basket Stadium. Right, Woolsall. Heathend. Hillsall. And Round Hills. And it can use either platform. All right, now we just do the same service, just the way back. I'll sort out the alternate platforms at Walls all in a bit, but I just wanted to get this sort of... Hmm... 
They'd add some extra time for a bit of padding, also longer dwell time for it to be mailed, made to interchange. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the mindset I had too. Oh, come on. Make this a little bit longer then. Alright, just wanna come on. Yeah. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I almost deleted the track. Oh, it was close. Uh, Wolzel gives me bad vibe vibes now with the four track and dare finish. I don't recognize that name of that place, so. I'll have to take your word for it. Alright, I'm going to rebuild that section, actually. Because I want to make sure that only... I'm an... I'm a massive idiot! I put that above the ground, for goodness sake. There we go. Can I do something right, Daniel? There we go. You reckon the BTP would be angry if I made a cart to ride on rails and strike face? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it'll give him something to do. Getting angry like that, I guess, yeah. Alright, so... Uh, there we go. Much better. And now, new streets, two minute waits. I also, I know there are some other stations that have alternate platforms. I'm going to do that at the end, actually. At the end in Frankfurt, our main, basically a junction between mainline and the middle, middle line. That will soon be vored into the network. Yeah, I'm going to pretend you didn't even say that, but okay. But, oh, crap, it's dinner time. Well, I'm going to still be streaming for a little bit longer in case you want to come back. I still, we still need to add some more services anyway. So I should be here for at least another 40 minutes, maybe. No promises. Alright, that's, um, that's our first service, line service added. S1. So let me add the alternate platforms now on the other stations. I'll add you in a minute. All right. <laughs> okay. <sighs> it means to me that the phrasing still gets a slight reaction. Hmm. Yes, it does. I time most of my services through the stop time mode fixed departure thing. The only cases where where I don't have any tram metros. Oh, fair enough then. I don't know if I've used that specific setting myself. I've been busy cooking up the video script after leaving it for many days untouched. I still need to touch up the script on my video as well, actually. So, I'm in the same boat as you. Not that I want to admit it. Missed the railway finally getting built, but catched up. Yeah, well... We're still just adding the lines anyway, so as far as I'm concerned, you haven't really missed that much. Alright, Aston. 
sort of like laid in stone here so it can you can use platform one or two I was not aware that we actually, um, oh, I wasn't thinking. All right, well, no big deal. It's, it's not the end of the world, actually. Oh, never mind. All right. All right, that's the last alternate platform there. Yeah, he's finally making the railway review to the JHA wagon. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't actually think, um, I don't think I've seen a J JHA wagon in ages. Uh, Daniel's one of the brilliant streamers that actually engages with his audience. Again, going back to him to fame, not many people do that. I've seen quite a few people who engage, but I'm glad that you think I'm decent at streaming, so thank you very much. Have you added dwell times at the turnaround point? Oh, I, I'll do that um, once I know how frequent I need the trains to be. Because the, the dwell times at the turnaround point will... Depending on how frequent that I want my service to be and how many trains I need, that'll affect how many... Um, how long the turnaround times they'll be. So there's no point doing it right now. And, you know, and just make it... Because I'll have to change it anyway. Um, right, now let me just add the next line, which will be S2. Alright, so, uh, S2. One fifty ten. Love the FKA. I'm not much of an MLG pro to remember which versions they were. Because there are so many, um, container wagon types. That it sort of just makes my head spin a little bit. Alright. So S2 will go from Bromsgrove to, uh, lit to Burton on Trench. And then Kings Norton. Oh, behave. What now? What have I done? It's having a hissy fit. What's the problem? Nope. Oh, ugh, I keep making that same bloody mistake. There we go. <laughs> S1 is bended like I wanted it to be. Like I wanna like I wanna be. New Street, same thing. I'm going to give it again two minute sort of catch up time. I made the same mistake again, but where? Oh, Chester Road. Can't remember which time it was, but the support, uh, uh, the support crane that re-railed the 195 at Grange, uh, <laughs> and support equipment, uh, could go and support on some, some old EWS container flights. Probably was. I, I didn't follow what happened to it after I saw the picture, I just sort of laughed. But I'm glad that nobody was hurt, at least, from it. And I'm an idiot, I forgot to add those extra stops. Daniel, you fixed the cross city cell by actually removing the bottlenecks at University in Kings Norton. Yeah, it was really easy. Step one, make the whole line quadruple track. <laughs> oh, I still made the same problem, but where? Oh, Maney. Ah. 
and Sutton Coalfield. Ugh. Right, Erdington. There we go. Well, Green, Mamie, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks. Why are you having a hissy fit now? Oh, it's because I made. Did I just copy the same error multiple times? Ugh. I live quite close to Granger. I spent quite a lot of time there, like the saddle. <laughs> oh, fair. Enough. I mean, it gives you something to do. And besides, not many people get to see a derailed or crashed train. So, can't exactly, can't exactly fault you for that. Oaks, Blake Street, Shenston, Litchfield Canal, City, Tread Valley, all was Barton under Needwood, Branston, and Grey Barton on Prep. Okay. Now let's do the services back. This platform. Canal, Shenstone, Lake Street, Lane, Four Oaks, Coldfield, Maney, Wild Green, Justin Road, Irvington, Gravelly Hill, Aston, Vauxhall, Dunstan, New Street. May or may not borrowed some broken signs and lumped from the <laughs> and, and a lump off the front of the 195 while I was there. <laughs> no comment. I have returned from the grave to bring. <laughs> oh, I didn't read that in the soldier's voice! I have returned from the grave to give the living haircuts! <laughs> also, welcome back, Sam. We're just adding um, our, our free lines. All green. And there we go. Right, now let's add um, the alternate platforms the trains can use. So, there's Kings Norton, I believe. That's the first one. And then there's New Street, where it can use. Can I exchange some money and you return for those sides? <laughs> oh boy, gonna be a black market for crash memorabilia. Sorry if I'm not talk. If I'm having these pauses, I have the suspicion that there's a flea on my table, and my hairs on my arms keep saying "flea on arm, kill it." But there is no flea on my arm because I think like because I well I gassed my room this morning because as soon as I saw this flea, and if anybody has seen a flea jump, you will know that they don't jump. They use instant transmission. They are the fastest thing you will ever see. It is like pew, pew, they just teleport. They don't jump. Bloody annoying. Eight fleas. Ban that sick filth. Ugh. 
Alright, uh, let's go city. Wait a minute, it can't use... Alright, so it can only use platform 3 as an alternate one. It can't use 2 and 1, because I'm an idiot. Oh well, it happens to the best of us. At least we can on the opposite direction. I hate being paranoid of insects. Okay, Aston. I live with four cats, so fleas will become normal. Oh goodness! I, we only get it. We only started having fleas with our newest cat, which is a shame, honestly, because. Ugh. I know. Also, uh, it's just uh, he he has very long hair, so obviously fleas love that, and I really hate I I hate fleas so much, purely because they're so hard to kill, and they adapt, and it's and they're clever because they they um they're not attracted to body heat. It's body heat plus carbon dioxide. That is really like really clever of them, and I hate that about that. Hey, ugh. Bleh. It has many shallow lakes, uh, almost as bad, but with constant flies. Oh, that's even worse. Flies are just, they may not be, you know, they may not give me, like, insect bites, but, well, actually, they, well, I'm, I'm pretty much an insect bite magnet, but, yeah. All right, now let's do the, um, S3. Now, fortunately, this is going to be really easy, because all you need to do is press clone, change this to free and then we adjust some bit to the root and then there we go so we delete bronze grove and brown green then we delete everything beyond lichfield tread valley and we change the color to yellow maybe a dark yellow I've only had three clear cats. Um, uh, one sadly, but we've never, luckily, never encountered fleas. Yeah, definitely lucky because they're just scum. <laughs> I've had the misfortune of twats fly chipping in my house and Stoke Council taking forever. Goodness me, I, I can't stand fly. We, we're lucky we haven't had any fly tippers for in our area, but. Uh, So you can make this train terminal platform one instead. But it can use any of them. So it can use three or two as well. Because my local region is between Braunch. Yeah. If you're okay. I'm not I'm not trying to be rude, but there is no way I'm gonna pronounce those areas. I'm so sorry. <laughs> too many too many um there's no way, I just can't pronounce that. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, so, um. One saw a dude wearing a jumper and said nothing in plain English but bulldoze Birmingham. <laughs> That's a good one. Um. Braun? Brown shui gif brown sh brown brown shui 
Braunschweig. Braun oh, Braunschweig. Braunschweig Giffhorn. Braunschweig Giffhorn. Braunschweig Giffhorn. Braunschweig. Schweig Giffhorn. Okay, I can. Okay. Yay, I did it! Yay! One German place name! <laughs> Right, let me um let me add the uh the the first stop being Redditch. So Redditch Owl Church Bant Green, as I used to call it when I was younger. Longridge, we do the leg stops there. Alright! We now have our first three train services. Wait for oh, train lines to be more specific, so here they are. Wait, I can't say that on YouTube. Oh, I didn't see what you said. So, all right, you didn't say anything. Now, um, now we decide our frequencies. So we're gonna build our trains. Um, we're gonna have uh the Caradia Internationals, Continental, I mean. So we're gonna have. So our first one's going to be an eight-car one. And we're going to put it on S1 so we can do some maths. So I just want to do one quick thing here. Let me just compare that version. Because there are two, ver there are so many versions of the strength, but I don't know which one's the better one overall to use in terms of coach length. So give me a second. Nah, that one's too long. Ugh. Ugh. Because I need to extend all the platforms. What about S4 between Four Oaks and Longbridge with better frequency? That could be um um what's it called? A good idea for a peak hour service. I was thinking of having um. We don't have reversing capabilities in, um, uh, what's it called? <sighs> uh, I forgot the name. Um, Longbridge. We don't have Longbridge reversibility yet, so, yeah. I'm going to sort of not be able to do that. Those capacities don't convince me for s -bonds. Uh, I don't blame you for thinking that because TKR, the person who made these trains, hasn't put standing room capacity on them. So it's just a seat count, so it's a bit nerfed. There is a train that does have capa like higher capacity. However, I think it's cheating if we use it. It's, uh, where is it? It's, um, the SNCF RERNG. So, look, so... Just to remind you, look at the capacity of this Creative Continental. Just the four car one, it's 240 passengers. With this one, 1,564. So slightly more OP, as you can tell. I know, yes, it's because it's a double decker, but it also factors in standing room. So if you get like the seven car one and make it 14 coaches, it's 260 meters long, but you get a capacity of 3,722. It's just way too overpowered. It's cheating as far as I'm concerned. So we're not using that. Right, where was I? Uh, where's our Caradia? There we are. So we'll have an eight car... Actually, I've got, got a better idea. Stuff that. We're not going to use the Caradia 
point point zero. We're going to use the point one, and we're just going to ban it from from twelve car formations. Problem solved. Series over. <laughs> there we go. The Miro will be able to be at twelve, but the Continental will be banned from twelve. There we go. Easy peasy, and we get our higher capacity. Since it's currently four hundred and eighty, where is our Caradia? Where is it? 480 and we can increase that to 496 every little helps I'll tell you what I'm very proud of myself getting to 134 slots I know it's not much but uh, but some of you makes me happy yeah, of course it does I remember I was so happy when I my video first well, one of my first videos on YouTube got 800 views I was ecstatic so I know exactly how you feel Anyway, our service. So pause the game. Otherwise, the game will have a hissy fit. So your train's not. You know, the train's lost. Yeah. So we buy this. Here we go. Our first train bought. 155 meters long. So um, now we do our free. So we first add the service. Our first diagram, which will depart. Um, let's say we'll make it depart Wolverhampton at six o'clock, for example. Six o'clock. Just as a test. So now we'll see all the diagrams throughout the week. Um, uh, so yeah, Monday to Sunday. You can adjust this if you want. So if you wanted to have like a peak hour only service, you'd only have you'd only just run the service in peak hours. If you wanted it to run Monday to Saturday, you'd then just select that and blah blah blah. So now what we do with this info that we have here, we now go to. Um, timings here and we see how long it takes um for the train to do a full loop and we need this number divisible by 60 in order for it to make a um to have like a a, a clock face timetable we need this number to be so two hours will be great because it you can see how long it takes so we, you, we want it to be basically two hours in order to do a full loop so if, if it's going to be every 30 minutes, that means we'll need four trains. Easy. Okay, so where was I? So I'd say, let's say if the turnaround times at each of them was five minutes. Let's see how long now. So uh, Brown Hills, five minutes. Okay, so we still haven't reached two hours, so we can now we start increasing it. Okay, we're now re we're at two hours. I'm gonna put this to six minutes as well. So this number here that you see here, that's basically the amount of buffer that it has between for like extra time it has at the stop, at a station stop, which is good. If you if this number is really close to one or it's zero, like one second, that's really bad. But sometimes it's unavoidable. Okay. So how frequent should this service be? I'm a bit I'm I'm a bit stumped on that. I don't know if it should be every twenty minutes or every thirty minutes. You know, like some input plus. Whilst you do that, I'm actually just going to stretch my arms and legs a little bit. I'm stretching my arms and legs. I'm fine. Alright, so I'm getting two votes for 20. So if it's zero seconds, the crew stands millimetres exact and jumps on the instance at a standstill. Well, basically, if this number is, um, if it's at one or zero, it's basically, um, there's not enough. Oh, if you make it tight. Oh, I didn't know you can just skip the station. Oh. Fair enough. Okay, that, that explanation's better then, yeah. Alright, every 20 minutes then. 
Okay, we'll make it every 20 minutes. So, 6, 8, 10, 12. Alright, so the last train of the day will finish Wolver we'll finish at Wolverhampton at midnight. Exactly on the door. And what I do here is that the first stop, the last stop will be Wolverhampton, append order. There we go. Now, I also need to make the train sod off into the depot, which requires me to add a depot route. A depot line, I should say. So, right, let's do that. Depot, Wolverhampton. Also set it to no boarding, so passengers don't, you know, cheekily stand on the train. Right, I'm going to be up to it tomorrow, so I'm going to have a shower. Night, night, Pete. Hope you have a good night. Yeah, good night, Jake. Thanks for you tuning in. It was nice that you could come along with the stream. You have a good night, and hope tomorrow goes well as well. Okay. Right, so now we've done that, we can now make the train sod off into the depot. So, 0005, let's do that. Obviously got an error, that's fine. 15. Might make that uh, a bit shorter, actually. Yeah. Oh, boy, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Uh, my mum said, do, do you want any, um, uh, do you want any dinner? And now nah, I'm good, I'm not really that hungry. She asked me at six o'clock, and now oh, it's nine, and, oh, stomach feels a bit empty for some reason. <laughs> so I'm an idiot. <laughs> I remember when the game didn't have a proper timetable, so it's from you and me, but I remember that. I remember that as well. Oh, those were dark times, but the game was just starting up, so it's hard to be angry at that non-inclusion of that. And there were barely any trains in the workshop at that time, so you really had to make do. Okay, so um, that's our first service properly added, diagram-wise. So if we go to um, basics of it, there we go. It's already got its first like journey, so... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it does a couple loops, then sods off to the depot in the evening, and then comes back in the morning. So now what I'm going to do is add another set, but this is going to be four coaches. Because we got to, they got to learn the hard way. And I'm going to make it follow the same diagram, but I'm going to shift it by uh, minus 20 minutes. Okay, and here we can see the di the the, the um, what's it called? This is the timetable at Wolverhampton Station, so you can see all the, the the times of all your trains stopping there, and by what platforms they are at. And I'm gonna buy one more. Uh, this will was this will be an eight car one as well. This will be an eight car as well. And this one I'm going to shift by minus 40 minutes. So this this one will actually be the first train of the day. I'm going to go a bit away as well. Good night. Yeah, good night. That's all fine. Nice that you could chat with me in uh, the chat as well. Glad you can come along. So here we can see all of our trains in the more like all of our trains. So I think we'll need six trains in order to maintain a service every 20 minutes. So we need to have our first train of the day in the opposite direction, which I'm going to have it start at Walsall. So, um, oh, I need to number the, number the platforms properly. So it's silly me. Because I really don't like having it at a major station with without proper numbers. Before I go even any further, let's save the game. 11 is late for me. 
being a film student is fun. Uh, I, I wish I took film studies a bit more. I, I wish I considered taking film studies when I was in um, sixth form. Or even photography. I really wish I took that as well. Uh, I feel like, again, missed opportunities. I feel like a uh, pain. Right, where was I? Yes, the service. Right, so our first train, next train doing um in the north, will be. Oh. Well, again, it'll be a four coach one manual orders. It, I'm doing film production, so I have to make the damn things itself. Oh, look, I know what you mean. Um. I, I worked on a film set. I I one hundred and ten percent sympathise with you of how unfun it can be making films. I was the producer's assistant on a feature film, so I know exactly what you mean. Uh, in fact, I do have a, a really funny story regarding that. Since since you're here, um, <laughs> and you said about that, I've got a real fun story. So, for the film that I was working on, it needed a car. And fortunately, one of our other producers managed to get a nice, cute little Fiat 500 for the grand total of zero pounds and zero pence. Because she knew someone who worked at Fiat, and there was a Fiat dealer um, in Maidenhead. Because we went, I think Maidenhead or near the Maidenhead area, no big deal. Because we were filming near the Windsor area. But that's, that's not important. What is important, we, we got a car, we could film in it, we could use it. We only had to pay for the insurance and fuel. Oh no, what a shame. That was great. Unfortunately, our director, he did not like the car. And we were complaining until we were speaking to him. Like, well, what's the problem? Is it too small to film in? No. Um, is it the wrong color? Well, no, not really. I mean, it's roughly what I wanted anyway. Not like he, not like he could choose the color that, or the car we got for free. His problem, and I'm not making this up, was that the number plate was, um, a, it was a, 20 reg number plate and the film takes place in 2017 and he's worried he's going to get bad reviews for the film because of the number plate was in the future it was, it was, the number plate was wrong and, and the thing here is that if he was making a a fast and furious film i could i could go you know what yeah i could understand that that's a that's a bit of a problem it was a rom-com and the car is only seen in one scene right at the end of the film. <sighs> Isn't that something you can fix in the edit? I mean, technically it is, yeah. But the thing is, is that but the thing is, you also have to remember we're on, this is a low budget well low budget well I guess you could get away with calling it a low budget film. We this wasn't like a Disney film. It was going to theatres and cinemas and stuff, but it wasn't a Disney film. Also hi um Hi Matthew, welcome to the stream. Just don't shoot the number plate, problem solved. Exactly, we were trying to bring this up to him. But he was just so so fussy. He was even asking, like, um at one point, uh Hey, can we? Uh, can you like get? A, can you change the number plate? Can you change the number plate? And we couldn't because we said no because we've got it insured under this plate and we'll get in trouble with the DVLA. Just don't film the number plate, you dummy. What I really wanted to say, but I just didn't have the balls at the time, and I feel bad, but it's my fault, honestly, for not having the balls to say it because I was on the producer's team. What I needed to say to him is, you got two choices. You can. You can keep the car as it is, or you can change it, and then we don't have a crew because we don't. We spent all our money changing the car. You can't have both. What's it gonna be? That's what I should have told him. But he was such an arrogant sod. Could not stand that guy. And the 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 other members in our team weren't the best either. I mean, it's it's weird because um, what's it called the makeup um the makeup leader. He insulted my sister, and I got really. And this was just when my sister passed away, so he didn't. I was so angry at him when he did that because he couldn't stand like I was wearing a hat, and I was wearing at one point, even though we were indoors, but I was just wearing it because I wore it in memory of her, and he could not. He didn't like. It. I was just 
wanted to slap him across the face, but I didn't. But yeah, and he was talking smack behind me as well, saying that, oh, you should be able to handle people talking to you like that. No, that's not ugh, horrible, horrible, horrible guy. And he drove a BMW X1, which is another just stupid car. So that was two reasons to dislike him. Oh, where was I? Yes, the service. <laughs> and um, the, um, uh, what was it? The director's assistant? I forgot, I forgot the role. Uh, the director's assistant. Yeah, the director's assistant. Um, uh, assist, no, assistant director. Sorry, the assistant director at one point threw a chair at somebody. Like, well, you know, because he was angry about we were being a bit delayed. So instead of, you know, understanding that maybe physical assault of somebody is a bad idea, he tries to throw a chair at somebody and fortunately misses. But, wait, what's wrong with these people? Honestly. I'm so shocked at how dumbass they are. So he's how dumb some of these people are. Ugh. Yeah, there are loads of divas in the industry. Of course, yeah. What film was it? I've been keeping it close to my chest, but to be honest, I think I can tell you the name. It's called Little English. I don't mind saying what the film name is. Yeah, it's called Little English. <laughs> you know... Funny enough, I actually haven't actually sat down and watched the film. Because that uh, that's how interested in rom-coms I was. I just did not care. I'm glad I worked on it, but nothing, not much more than that. We free and we end up all <laughs> Nobody likes it. <laughs> Wait a second. I've discovered a problem. There's a chance that the trains could get delayed. Because, um... Hang on a second. So, this departs at 25 or 24... That's 062450. And this arrives at 627. And technically this bit is single line. So there is a chance. Hmm. I might need to add a, an extra minute of waiting time at Walsall. Just to ensure the train can, you know, clear the, the, the gap. The single, you know, the single line section without it causing delays. Uh. So where was it? In the same day, I nearly strangled him. It was creeping with a girl in my ear. Go figure. Uh. I don't know why the film industry attracts so many people like like that. I really don't know why. I mean, I, my, my first guess would be just, you know, um, abuse of power, but, I mean, yeah, I guess it is just abuse of power. Also, welcome back, Yaoi. I'm probably going to be... Uh, yeah, hang on a second, I'm just going to look this up. <sighs> on German trains, I was obsessed with... Trains in Germany in um, 2017. Just found the trains there fascinating. Yeah, same, same to me. Although I, although I have that same mindset for the Netherlands more than Germany. Ugh, that blasted time. Because I made that section single line. Come on, Daniel. You can do it. Maybe if we make this... Seven minutes. No, it doesn't really. <sighs> mm. 
They have double deckers over in Sydney. Oh yeah, there are some double decker trains in Germany, which are, no, not, not Germany. I mean, um, Australia, which I do find kind of cool. I'm so nervous, it's going to cause delays. Come on, how can you do this? Maybe if I make it a two minute wait at Walsall instead. Ah. Yeah, I know. It just it always has, it always tends to happen with meeting trains. I don't know what I have to. Uh, it always happens in this game. Always. <sighs> Maybe if I make the brown hills wait a bit shorter. Okay, well that seems to fix the problem. Okay, problem solved. Well, I think I'm gonna have to adjust that timetable a bit. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Crap baskets. All right, let me fix this. You're still alive. Well, it's only been two and a half hours. I was going to get, um, you know, get some sleep in a bit. I just wanted to do the first service. And then we'll continue. To, then on the next stream, we'll fix something up. We'll fix some more trains up. All right, there we go. Problem solved. Okay, there we go. So we don't have to worry about the trains crashing on the single line section. Woo! There we go. Right. Um, oh yeah, we need to do those other services as well. We need to make sure we got enough trains um, in the opposite direction. So we'll. Um, I'll be cheeky and put a pair of free excels on this actually. Oh crap, I need to make the train go into the depot. <laughs> Full time streamer. Nah. Uh, streaming would be nice as a full time thing to do, but I don't like. Uh, I don't like how you make money off Twitch and YouTube and stuff. I really don't like it. I'm happy getting donations, but that's really about it. I don't want to do ads and crap like that. Oh, let me put this straight in the depot. And no bath water either. That won't happen. Oh, crap! That's the wrong track texture! Dang! Oh, I'm an idiot! I are totally smart. Let me fix this. Build. Oh, I'm, and even then I missed one. I'm not looking. Pay attention, Daniel. Right, okay, where was I? Yes, um, the new depot at Beskett. Yeah, I guess you decided this is better than sleep. Well, hello again. <laughs> well, you're not gonna. Um, I just. I think I'm just going to do 
uh, S1 and then go to sleep. Myself. Because, again, I'm getting really hungry and, um... <laughs> and I'm slightly sleepy as well. Alright, 23, let's see, 55. Great. 05, 35. Excellent. We now have our train in. Just need to add one more, I think. Alright. What plans are being put in place to increase the frequency in the future? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the frequency is going to be like this on every 20 minutes on this route, at least. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, yeah, I can create a continental. Another four coach, one. And so I have a manual order, but it will start from Warzall and end at Warzall as well. So 05... 25. Yeah, oh boy. Oh, I love this song so much. Especially that chorus. Screw it, I'm gonna play it again. I love that chorus so much. Hang on a second, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you manually timetabling every train? Um, yes. Basically, yes. Right, 05... No, 06, 20, 20. Man, if, I'm, if only I made a video game with a... I'd have music as good as this. Alright. Uh, and then it goes to... Sods off to the depot. 23... 35. Okay, five. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. We now have all of our S one is now ready. It can now carry passengers. Woo! Which we will showcase off next stream because I want some sleep. <laughs> and you know, I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do the next stream. Either tomorrow or Saturday. Depends on how busy I'm going to be. But we'll see. It's either gonna be one of those two days. It won't be Sunday because I'm going to Belgium. But it will either be Saturday or um, Friday. Friday or Saturday. We'll see how it goes. But that's all the stream for today, everybody. I'll have to go to sleep if you do. I know. <laughs> uh, sorry, buddies. I need sleep. Unfortunately. And food, as a matter of fact. Anyway. Um, thanks for joining. It's been a really lovely stream this evening. Thanks for joining, everybody. So, um... See you later, and have a good night. Um, yeah, goodbye.